Hi guys, how's it going? Hey, here we are again, another Saturday, another shave. And as always, you've seen by the thumbnail, we've got a good one lined up for you today. But we're going to see that edit again. I'll show you the brush now and I put it into soak for 10 or 15 minutes and I'll come back film the rest of the shave. Here it is. Check out this. And I'm going to be using today, that's a Razor Emporium 26 millimeter Best Badger Knot. And I'm going to put that in the official John Shave Super Soaker. Now that's a big white cup. Look at this guys, look. Can you see? The big old hefty knot that. We'll get that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put that in there. I'll just leave it stood in there. 10, 15 minutes, that's hot water as it comes out of the tap. Um, I forgot the tablet. When we come back, we'll have the tablet, we'll have a chat and we'll crack on the shave. Bye. And we're back. How's it going? Look, here it is. It's been there in the official John Shaves Super Soaker. Let's have a rundown of what we're going to be using. We're going to be using the brush. Um, I got it from the Razor Company. There you go. Sorry, I just little. Don't you just hit these websites and you click on them and bubble after bubble after bubble pops up. Ten percent talk to us. Five percent rate us. Have you seen this? Get it? Oh, go away. Anyway, here we go. The description. Um, diddly, 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 let me see. Here, handmade from 100% Best Badger hair. Classic acrylic handle is an extra stuffed Best Badger hair. Characterised by soft yet exfoliating tips, Best Badger makes a great gift for the perfect entry into wet shaving. The Best Badger hair is formed, not cut. I'd love to know what that means. 26mm, 55mm lock, soft and exfoliating. An excellent brush. That's that there. That's the brush, and it's in there soaking away. The rest of the stuff we're going to be using with a shaving cream. Check this out, guys. Alexander Simpson. Yes, the brush maker. Makes this wonderful. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful sandal and shaving cream. And we've got the accompanying balm for splash. I've got this. Now, this, when uh, I pick up oodles of sandalwood the minute you spray this i get like a lovely fragrant fragrant sandalwood scent but not top sandalwood i find top sandalwood very very sweet and sickly this is like um what would you call it parasso unlike simpson sandalwood it's a bit toned down a bit earthier uh, like a true solid sandalwood scent uh, and that cost me something like it was in the sale it reduced to about 20 pounds okay Come on, John, have a cup of coffee. Bit of housekeeping for you. I was talking with Doug from PAA. Um, and there is now an affiliate link under my videos. Not a discount code, but an affiliate link. If you want to help this channel, if you're going to use anything from PAA, if you click on that link to take you to the website. And I do stress this, I'll stress this because I get this more than anything else really on the channel. Uh, people seem to think if they use that link and then put the bank details in, I'll see them. It's, it's not. All it does, you'll be on a secure, locked website. It'll take you to PAA. It just lets them know that you went there from the video, from one of my videos. And so I get a kickback. If you spend anything, it'll all be reinvested. I think last year as well, some people save them up and get gift cards and so on. Um, I just buy something for the channel. I'll be absolutely honest with you guys. I think last year I made... I made about £58 and I think I bought two sets with 40 and I used your £18 to send just land something. So it all gets used back in the channel. Anyway, crack on John. Come on. Mark Davis, thank you very much. Mark Davis. The razor we're gonna be using, look at that. Open comb Merca 42C. Mark very kindly gifted me this. And the, the blade that we're going to be putting in there. Don't ever remember using it, but I'm sure I must have done a treat falcon blade. So if there's anything you can tell me about these blades, there you go. Um, carbon steel blade. 
It doesn't say whether they're going to the Indian. I'm treat words. Oh, sure, it looks a good blade, guys. There you go. Once again, I'm all at sixes and sevens. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon as I film this. Uh, I'm going to film it early and I'm going to upload it early because I'm going away for the weekend. It's bonfire weekend here in the UK. Remember, remember the 5th of November, gunpowder, treason and plot. And we're going away and we have bonfires all over the country and we make effigies, full life-size effigies of Guy Fawkes. We throw them on the bonfire, we have treacle toffee, black peas, potato pie, firework displays, everything. It's all meant to uh, replicate the uh, gunpowder plot from back in the day. And that's what we're doing. So I'll try and get some footage for you. And if I do, I'll put it in the next shave. We're good. <laughs> ah, we're... Oh, start shaving, John. Oh, yeah. I'm going to dip the tips in there and I'm going to... Um... So, yeah. Captain's Choice Obsidian Ball. Probably... Probably one of my favourite balls this, it's a big hefty sucker and I say it every time but doesn't it look like something you would see in a Captain Nemo film, I absolutely love it. So what I'm going to do, open that, open that, here we go, there you go, you're going to get straight in, boom, come on let's try a bit more. But we just know we need a bit more than that. There you go. Oh man, that, that may have been too much. But what we're going to do is we're going to get into this ball. And we're going to whip up. And we're going to see. I can tell. Oh, it smells absolutely wonderful. Set strength on this, guys. I would put uh, around about six. Now, I've had this for a couple of years. I have. I got this. Uh, I think I think about this when it very first came out back in the day and I've used it a couple of times and I've lent it out to people and they've used it and I've got it back and the scent is still absolutely fantastic if you like sandalwood scents it's a more brainer well, should we try and dip the tips again I'm going to take a bit more water yeah wow this is absolutely wonderful um, I was going to lather straight onto the face. This is just a gift that keeps on giving, isn't it? Oh, okay. We'll let the face. We'll crack on. Do you know, I'm sure I had something to talk to you about. Cannot remember. Well, this brush. Mm. Yeah. It is, there's no funk, I've cleaned it repeatedly. Oh, wow, look at this. It's very, very soft. Yeah, so, uh, just a little side issue. If you watched that last video, there was a bit of a, a back and forth with uh, me and myself and uh, David Cunniff, uh, which I appreciate, I welcome all your comments and everything. Um, David made the, um, in one of the comments, I think he said, um, he felt that I was misleading people because I didn't put the, pot, the price of postage uh, when I said I got that brush for £21. Oh. I don't include postage in any of the prices that I give here for one reason and one reason only. Uh, there's places like where Lee Hazel lives in Thailand. Postage is astronomical. Now what do you do? Do you never get anything again because you you, you can't you can't factor it in. Um, and then there's like people in Lor Lorry over there in Australia. Uncle El Shades. His 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 postage is phenomenal for stuff over there. Um, and then I suppose that there are some countries, and there are some parts of USA where postage is dirt cheap, it really is. So what I do is, when, when I give prices, I exclude postage, and I exclude local taxes, like um, over here in the United Kingdom. We have to pay 20% tax on anything 
that we buy outside of Europe. So that brush I got off Doug, it was £21 and I had to pay an extra £4 for that VAT. That goes to the British government. There's nothing to do with Doug and it's nothing to do with me. But because it's outside Europe, I have to pay that for the privilege of... So I didn't add that on either. Um, purely and simply because local taxes vary. They vary from country to country. They vary from place to place. Sometimes you don't, we don't even pay it here depending on where you get it from. And I'm not a public information service. Okay, so I'll just tell you where I get this stuff from and how much I pay for it. And if you need me to tell you I paid for postage, you shouldn't be near a razor blade, should you guys? Come on. And that's not aimed at David Cuniff or anybody else in particular. That's just a generic comment. If you're sat wanting to buy a PAA brush and you're in India and you need me to tell you you'll have to pay postage, then you shouldn't be playing with razor blades. You really shouldn't. Oh. So I just wanted to clarify that. Mm. Right now I am getting a bit of funk off this brush now. And that's funny because I cleaned it repeatedly. Not a lot, but it's there. So what I'll do at the end of this shave, I will leave that brush just like that overnight and then wash it tomorrow in the morning before we set off. What shave was that? What shave was that? Come on, we'll go. We'll go across the grain. And then the next one will go against. So let me know what your shares of the day are. Let me know what your slurp of the day is. I will be taking a bottle of jam shed with me and a couple of glasses. And when we get back to the hotel around about 9 pm, we'll get our comfies on, we'll sit in the bed, me and I will have a small glass of wine before we retire for the evening. The bonfire we're going to is called Himley. Uh, the weather forecast has said rain. But let's hope it keeps dry for a couple of hours, you know. We'll see. But we're going, we're going to have a good time. We are. We're going to have a good time. We'll be with family. We'll be with friends. Well, guys, look. This brush is performing, isn't it? It's doing the job. It is very, very soft. Yeah. Look at this. And we'll do lather mittens as well. Oh, and that was something else David said when I used that badger brush the other day. He said, don't say you didn't get any lather from the badger brush and then do lather mittens. That may have been a misunderstanding, David. Um, what, what I was saying was uh, badger brush, that that particular badger brush wasn't giving the lather very easily. Um, so yeah. But like I said, I thank you to everybody for all the comments and the participation. Um, and Doug, Doug from PAA posted several times on the video. Uh, and his comments just kept disappearing. Now, I went into YouTube Studio and they weren't there. Uh, I went uh, repeatedly to YouTube Studio. Bizarrely enough, when if you put a comment on and, and I delete it or, or YouTube or whatever, however, if, if it doesn't appear, I usually still get an email through saying you've had a comment, you open the email, do you see the comment? There wasn't even any emails to say that Doug had commented. It was just like YouTube had had hidden it for some reason, I don't know. Uh, that's why I posted. Doug got in touch and he said, well, you post a comment on my behalf on your video, so that's what I did. But if you want to go back and look at the videos and look at the comments, you'll see what, what was going on. 
but I'll never delete. I'll never delete comments so long as they're respectful. Uh, I'll never repeat, uh, delete anybody for having a different point of view. Oh, oh God, what a shave! Here we go. Look at that. Uh, I know it's gentle there. There's still a load more left in there. Look at that, guys. That blade did okay. That razor did okay. It's a mild, I think it's a mild razor. It is a mild razor though. Very good looking, thank you Mark Davis, very good looking uh, razor. For a very good looking shaver. <laughs> oh yeah. So let me know what your shaves of the day are, let me know what your slopes of the day are. Let me know what you think of all the products used. Let me know what you think of badgers. Let me know what you think of synthetics. Anything. The dialogue, because it all helps the analytics, you see. Basically, the more comments I get and the more likes I get, um, it, it all feeds into algorithms, is the word I was looking for. It all feeds into an algorithm at YouTube, which helps them promote my video more which becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy because they'll prom they'll see that it's getting likes and watching so they'll promote it a bit more so it'll get more views and it'll get more likes and so on oh John come on stop enough enough with this waffleization okay this is good stuff guys I like this stuff here we go wow that's a proper alcoholic EDP and that you know guys absolutely nothing not an ounce of stink nothing and we'll go with the simpsons sandalwood balm rub it in i'll put a bit too a bit too much on there and there we are oh bonfire night paa affiliate link badger brush how did I do shave? Come on. Let's lean in. Look at this. I, I might try and get a little suction light or something to stick on there. Because a big dark window there. and Oh, it's atrocious. Because that, like this is the, the window that the, the camera is sat on is set right back. Uh, so there's like, a, there's like, how deep? About, about a foot recess all the way around the camera. And that's why the light struggles to get to. But hey, look. We did okay, didn't we, guys? We did okay. We had a good share. We used some good stuff. Remember, if you want to support the channel, use that PAA link. I'll put it underneath every video. Um, there's a Razor company link under there as well. And then you've got the discount codes for Frank Shaving and Pastor's Pharmacy. There's that many, so much to remember. But thank you to everybody for all the support. Thanks for all the likes and comments. Look after yourselves. Remember, uh, do you know what, guys? Without exception, I've experienced a little bit of this this weekend, um, with the, well, this, this past week. Without exception, that means there's no exceptions. Treat everyone that you meet in life with dignity. They deserve that by sheer virtue of the fact that they're a human being. Okay, look after yourselves and I will see you on Wednesday. Hopefully we'll have some bonfire footage, but one thing we will have is a good shave. Bye.